They hit you on the head. American companies and citizens cannot legally do business with Iran. It is forbidden under the U.S. government's economic sanctions against that country. But Halliburton got around that problem by using a foreign subsidiary which they own. And that's why critics say Halliburton was relying on a loophole. Well, Halliburton set up this bogus brass plate subsidiary in the Caymans in order to effectively um, say that they had this uh, company that uh, was incorporated offshore. Halliburton was subpoenaed by the government in 2004 over transactions with Iran. Its subsidiary provided about 30 to 40 million dollars worth of services to Iran each year. But Halliburton says that's only 1% of its overall business. It maintains the subsidiary's work in Iran complied with U.S. law and was carried out by non-American personnel. Halliburton has not reported any further investigative activity. But at least one senator still wants to close the loophole that Halliburton used. This should have been done some time ago, during the time that they were helping Iran increase its revenues, helping them produce their oil. The issue has become political in part because when Vice President Dick Cheney was head of Halliburton, he opposed the sanctions on Iran, saying, quote, we're kept out of there primarily by our own government. I think that's a mistake. But asked about it in a 2004 debate, the vice president seemed to reverse himself, saying he supports U.S. sanctions on Iran. At the time, I was uh, talking specifically about this question of unilateral sanctions. What happened? Tom Foreman, CNN, Washington.